Okay, so I ran into a bit of a problem before when I tried to show the user's email here, because I have the user, and I should be able to do dot .email to pull out their email here. The problem was that this second tweet didn't have a user, which is uh, you know, probably wrong. I want to make sure that every tweet actually has a user. So if I try to do this, I get an error. And it says, undefined method email for nil class. If you ever get an error like this, um, this is probably what's happening. It's going to tell you this line. It's trying to run email for nil, nil class. What that means is that the thing you're trying to call the function on is empty. Nil stands for empty in Ruby. So the tweet's user is empty. How do you deal with this? Well, the first thing is making sure you never have tweets without users to begin with. So that's you know a problem. We created this tweet before uh, you know we had the current user thing, and it somehow ended up being empty. So I'll show you first the you know kind of hacky, not so good way of dealing with this. Um, but that's if you ever know that something might end up being blank. If instead of doing dot email, you do try, and then email like this, this will work. And it'll just return nothing for you know, any object. It basically hides the uh, exception. So this is showing the user's email here. Um, so that's one way of doing it. But that's not the best way to do it. In my case, I actually could go, what I would recommend doing is going into the admin section and just updating that tweet. Um, or deleting all tweets that don't have any users. So that's another way of doing it. You could go into the Rails console and find that tweet and delete it. So I will show you how to do that here. Uh, which one was it, actually? It was tweet number, I think it was ID 3. So let's just guess that. Tweet.find3. No. Two, four, yeah, OK. So tweet number four has a user ID of nil. So I could delete that now with tweet.destroy. And that would delete it, and that would get rid of the problem. But you don't necessarily want to have to go into your console each time. So the easiest thing is to just add tweets to my admin dashboard. And in the admin dashboard, I'll be able to do all of that like editing and deletion and stuff like an admin user should be able to do. So. Um, all that you have to do to get tweets to show up in your admin dashboard too, so you can edit them, is run that. It's a, it's an active admin generate command. Um, I believe it's Rails generate active admin resource and then the name of the resource. So this is tweet, and really this is just going to create a new file under uh, app admin and call it tweet, and it's going to be empty anyway. So if you forget this line, all you have to do is kind of copy over another one, um, although you'll have to you know, replace this. And here we have a tweet. So now if I refresh, I can see all my tweets. There we go. Um, I can't see which one has no user on it. But if I go into it, I can do this. And there we go. I can just delete it from there. So now I go back to my tweets, and I can see that. So we're kind of replicating what we have here, but it makes sense to do this because um, you, you probably want to have a different level of accessibility inside of your admin as you want like out here. So out here, I actually may get rid of the edit and destroy views. Uh, I'll probably just show these to the user who actually you know, created it, which I can show you how to do in the next one. And then, of course, remember that if you want the admin user to be able to edit, um, you know, who the user is or the content of that thing, like this, you're going to have to permit the parameters that you want them to be able to edit. So um, maybe I can uncomment this line with uh, command and then this question mark thing, or just add it at the bottom here. Permit params, user, and content. So now, as an admin, I should be able to edit, there we go, the content of a, of a particular tweet. So that's a little change that you probably want to be able to do. Um, so yeah, next up, 
I'll show you how to get rid of these links so that you can only basically edit and delete it if it's your pin or if it's your tweet.